Hello, hello, this is Trish from Free Range Home and today I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about brooding chickens. I've got a brooder box set up right now and I've got about 11 baby chicks in it so I just wanted to show you guys how it works and just show you how simple it is. So come on, we'll take a look. Okay guys, and I just wanted to show you, this is what I am using right now for a brooder box. And what I did with this is I had a, a very kind friend of mine who had access to shipping containers uh, got this container for me and we put a really good coat, a couple coats of paint on it to, to help preserve it. And uh, this is where I keep my little chicks. It's one of the places I keep my little ones. Now you'll see in here I have some smaller chicks. They're not ready yet to be out it's getting it's still too cold at night for them and these are little black ocelot chicks they're they're absolutely terrified right now um but they're going to be some other egg layers and what i do is i keep them in this brooder box until they're approximately six weeks old i would say um i use pine bedding and um, to keep to try to keep the smell down and keep them as clean as possible. And uh, then I have the brooder light, which um, I would be very, very careful. You need to make sure that your light is secured extremely well and that it's far enough away from anything that m might get too hot. So I would definitely uh, encourage you to do that. And uh, we just put the little waterers and feeders right here. And I, I usually just put wire over this during the day and kind of pull the uh, lid back on it. And then at night, I uh, close it up and secure it with something heavy to make sure that no predator can get into that box. But I like to try to get them used to the cooler weather. Um, and I really probably should turn off the brooder light today because if they're kept too warm, they won't get their feathers. They'll stay fuzzy like that, and it'll take longer to get them acclimated to the cooler weather. So, um, I really need to turn the brooder light off during the day when it's warmer so that they can get used to being cool, and they'll, they'll get some of their feathers in. Once they're completely feathered out, they should do okay being outside. And they, these guys are almost there. I mean, you can see, They've got most of their feathers in. They still have some fuzz, you know, on their chest and, and stuff, but they've got most of their feathers in. So it probably won't be much longer now. They're about a month old now. So, I, you know, you really don't have to have anything really fancy. I mean, this has worked for us. We've had several several flocks of chicks run through this little brooder including this uh, broiler birds that you just saw and it's very easy to clean out and it's just really not anything more than a box so you, you just kind of learn how to improvise and use what you've got and you, you know just keep it simple that's all you guys have to do so those are my three setups right now that I've got going on for uh, my three little flocks of babies and I will make some videos and show you guys what I'm doing with my older older birds. We are about to move them into a brand new coop so I'd love to show you guys what we're doing there. Thanks for tuning in.